Well, royal fever well and truly hit as the coronation of King Charles beamed into living rooms all over the world. We watched the walkabouts and clapped along to the concert. But did the average viewer pick up on the uh, subtleties of the famous family's body language? A smirk, a tear, a poorly timed yawn. The weekend's festivities had it all. So what does it all mean? For a full analysis, we welcome back body language and communications expert Louise Marler, live from our Melbourne studio. Hi, Louise. Hey. Ah, good morning, Larry. Good morning, Kylie. Looking very royal yourself Ooh, with your yeah. robes on. <laughs> um, let's start yeah. with King Charles. Uh -huh. I think he displayed his full array of emotions at the coronation. Look, he appeared a little bit cranky before proceedings at Westminster Abbey when there was a delay by the whales. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. But it seems the day wasn't glitch-free for the king, spotted complaining about timekeeping in his carriage. This is what a lip reader told us. He says... This is boring. <laughs> wow. What do you make of this, Louise? Well, I think we're witnessing a change. I think with the Queen, what we saw was that no matter what happened, she always maintained a neutrality. It did not matter what happened, she would stick with that. With Charles, if he's angry, he's angry. If he's nervous, we'll see the fingers go. If he's happy, we'll see a slight, slight smile. So what he's doing is rather than keeping neutral at all times, he's having a subdued strategy. He'll let it out. Out, but it'll be subdued. Are we sure that's what he was saying? It looked to me like he was singing along to Lionel Richie's All Night <laughs> uh, I, read, I, read, I read about this. What happened was his carriage was between three and six minutes early, so it wasn't that Kate and William and the kids were late. They got there too early, so therefore they just had to wait momentarily right. until the kids got there. <laughs> well, he's been waiting so long for this. <laughs> Three steady minutes. up, steady up there. <laughs> All right, now during the ceremony, he appeared to be holding back tears. At other times, he looked kind of nervous. Some of the commentators were pointing to this. Mm. Then a little bored and then a little tired. Uh, what, are you, mm. what were you getting from his body language? Well, this is, this is Charles again showing that subdued strategy. So if he's nervous, if he's tense, if he's happy, he will show it in some way. The thing with that Charles is that he's a born stage manager. So he should have been a stage manager, you know, move right, left, move, get the lights on. He's organising everything. And what we saw was when the card was brought around for him to read, he's saying, move it forward, move it forward. And when he was getting up from the seat he's saying to the guys grab the thing I don't want to trip over it you know he's giving the instruction when the crown is going on he's saying get it balanced get it balanced and he's literally not saying it but you can see him feeling that he's managing everything and he's moving his body all the time they should have gone there they should have, yes that would have happened there yes go mm. Mm, mm. and it's the same with the carriage he's stage managing all the time We've seen the king get cranky about pens mm -hmm. in yeah. the past. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Over the weekend, keen eyed, that, this is what happened in the past, but over yeah. the weekend, keen eyed viewers thought they saw a little smirk after Charles saying, signed his name with the pen. Did you spot this? Look, he could have, he could be uh, smirking because the obvious thing is we go, hmm, that's about Harry you know, give it to Harry. The other thing, he could be happy, it's been 74, he's 74 and now he's made it. And the other thing is he could have wind. Uh, you, whatever it is, yes, there was a little smirk. What was it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's a smile of a man who's looking, going, looking up going, it's mine, it's all mine. The pen, the, <laughs> I reckon it's because the pen worked. <laughs> or wind, I like the idea of the And now everyone was waiting to see how Harry would behave, of course, and where he would sit. This was the biggest question in the world last week. What did you make yeah. of his fleeting visit. Well, uh, anything Harry did, we would watch. And I think there were the six stages of Harry. First of all, we got Harry walking in. And Harry, we saw the old Harry for the first time in years. He was smiling. Look how handsome he is, standing there tall, looking fabulous, uh, smiling. Everything was great. Then he made a ridiculous strategy of actually talking to people, trying to get their attention. Of course, they just go, you cannot be serious and look away. He continues that down the aisle, they look away. Then, as we just saw, Princess Anne comes in and he goes, Anne, 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 give me a look. She goes, you cannot be serious. And then he looks, we have the other clip where he looks at William and he's 
staring at William. And then we have the clip where he's mouthing God Save the Queen. And, uh, and when he does that, he stops singing halfway through. I don't make anything of that because he never sings, Harry, so that's fine. And when the king walked past, he bowed his head and held it. So good on you, Harry. However, then there was the clip of him with his eyes and his pupil dilated. And I think that Harry was either enraged and the pupils will dilate when we're absolutely furious. But also there's something I'm suspicious of and have been suspicious of for years, and that's drugs. Wow, you threw that in just at the end. Yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> just as we're about to say goodbye. Well, he, he's admitted in the past to to yeah. drug use, so yeah. like smoking pot and stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. He has. Okay. You're I'll not with that, Harry. Uh, Larry, Larry, sorry. No, I was, I was still recovering Larry, from Harry. the king farting accusation. <laughs> and you hit us with that. All right, Louise, let's just leave it there and everyone can make up their own mind. We appreciate your time. Okay. Thank okay. you. Good Thanks, Louise. Wow, there was a lot in that. There was so much yeah. in that.